Okay, everyone. Kia ora koto. Welcome back. Uh, so it's been a long two and a half days for everyone. And thank you so much for staying the course and being such wonderful presenters and participants. We've had an amazing time. If you're like me, your head will be filled with ideas and challenges and new concepts and new genres. Uh, who would know that trench art, for example, was a genre? I certainly didn't until this afternoon. And I didn't know anything about orange trains in Pakistan either. So um, this has been a, a very unusual experience for me personally, because I haven't attended a, um, an online conference before. Um, it has been quite fraught. It has <clears throat> involved several blunders, I'm sh I, I know. Um, it was unfortunate that the Zoom connection snapped in the opening ceremony, and I thought this is a really bad omen, but fortunately we all came together again uh, and nobody gave up that point. So we are a very resilient lot. Um, that was caused by a Zoom server in Sydney, by the way. I was very relieved to hear that it wasn't my fault. Um, but it did stress the vulnerability of our connections in a very concrete way. And I've realized that the theme of connections and connectiveness and asserting connections has, has actually become quite an important sub-theme of this conference. Um, we heard all about the hyphen in Patrick's wonderful Tanaloa this morning. And um, this is an enigmatic symbol, which we can easily overlook. And it's something that I think we really need to focus on. So thank you, Patrick, for bringing the, the hyphen to our attention. Um, we need to seek our connections. We need to identify our connections, understand how they exist and where they exist and affirm them. So this is in the geographical sense, in the cultural and social sense, um, but also in the con uh, context of this conference and in the community of uh, Asian scholars. So we need to assert this hyphen more um, and our connectedness and resist the trend at the moment for Asian studies in New Zealand universities to be airbrushed out of existence. Um, in the institutional structures. Another vital message of the conference has been the role of Asian scholars in the future um, <clears throat> and the importance of having and nurturing Asia specialists in New Zealand. As Jason pointed out in relation to China, uh, other cultures and positions cannot be understood through translation. They can often be misunderstood. So we will always need a very strong core of Asia literate, Asian language proficient scholars in New Zealand. So my advice to you all is, and James, I know you're, you're onto this, um, go forth and multiply. Um, James is on parental leave, if anyone's wondering. Um, so thank you all so much for your fantastic efforts, um, for your cooperation, for your tolerance and your patience. Um, thank you, Natasha, Jason, Patrick, and Shaker for your passionate presentations and the wonderful ideas that they brought to our attention. Uh, finally, I would like to thank once again our generous sponsors, the Nicholas Tarling um, Charitable Foundation, the New Zealand India Institute, the uh, uh, Contemporary China Research Institute, yes, of course, Asia New Zealand first and foremost, perhaps. Um, so, um, thank you so much for, for all your uh, energy. Um, it is our hope to be able to upload the PowerPoint presentations on our New Zealand Asia website. Um, so, we'll be seeking the permission of presenters to do that. And so, if you missed a presentation, um, you'll be able to at least um, follow up with the, um, the, the PowerPoint. Uh, and if you want to make contact with other scholars, um, I do have a, an email list which I can um, share with their permission um, individually. 
Uh, so, so you can, um, I hope you can continue your discussions. So we look forward very much indeed to gathering again in four years time at, uh, two, sorry, two years time, it's not the Olympics, um, two years time at Auckland University and all the best of luck to the Auckland organisers. I hope we don't have a situation um, like this today, but it possibly will not be completely, as we will say, normal. Uh, so Matewa, and I'll hand over now to um, Naima Talib, the, um, the acting president of the New Zealand Asia Society, to announce the postgraduate awards. So thank you. Tēnā uh, koutou katoa. Um, uh, this is the moment that a lot of our uh, student participants are waiting for. We thank all the student participants for submitting papers for the prize and for their interest in the prize. As we mentioned previously, this conference brings together uh, postgraduate students and it is an opportunity just to thank uh, all the postgraduate students who are at the conference uh, for showcasing their research. And we're also very pleased with uh, the many students who submitted papers for the uh, postgraduate prize and also for taking the time to write full papers. And the selection committee um, are, uh, were very pleased with the quality of submissions and they were also impressed by the range of topics covered in the papers. Um, and um, it, it, I must emphasize that selecting the prize winners was a very difficult uh, uh, decision to make. Now, before I uh, continue, I would like you all to the student, uh, who, uh, all the students who are uh, currently with us now, to hold your breath for just a moment. I would like to thank the Nicholas Starling Charitable Trust for sponsoring the um, Southeast Asia Postgraduate Prize. And before I announce the winners of the Postgraduate Prize, I'd like to um, uh, make another announcement, and this has to do with the NZ Asia 2021 Book Awards. And this is for the benefit of those who are not at the book event when we announced the book awards and also at uh, uh, who are at the um, NZ Asia meeting yesterday. So just to reiterate the second prize of the NZ Asia book awards, uh, we are award with, uh, we are awarding two second prizes this year. And in alphabetical order, the first pri uh, the second prize uh, goes to Yong Chun Fu for his book, The Early Transnational Chinese Cinema Industry, published by Routledge in 2019. Also sharing the second prize is Douglas Osto for his book, An Indian Tantric Tradition and Its Modern Global Revival, Contemporary Non-Dual Shaivism, published by Routledge in 2019. The first prize of the NZ Asia Book Awards for this year goes to Richard Weiss for his book, The Emergence of Modern Hinduism, Religion on the Margins of Colonialism, published by the University of California Press in uh, 2019. So this is the moment that you've all been waiting for, for all our postgraduate uh, students. Finally, here are the results of the NZ Asia Conference Postgraduate Prize. So I will announce the two winners before announcing the winner of the Southeast Asia Postgraduate Prize. Second prize of the NZ Asia Conference Postgraduate Prize goes to the paper, Broken Bodies, Broken Lives, Sectarian Violence and Women's Bodies in Post-Partition Literature by Janaye Kirtikar from Victoria University. I'd like to especially mention that Janaye is actually a BA honors student. And this is the first time that a, a, a BA student has won a prize for the postgraduate prize. So congratulations, Kirtika. The first prize for the NZ Asia Conference postgraduate prize goes to the paper, The Communist Divergence, Political Accountability and Extractive Capacity in Vietnam and China. The author is Nguyen Kak Gieng, also from Victoria University. I had the pleasure of chairing his um, seminar just now and we really grilled him quite a lot just now. And he gave very impressive answers. So congratulations to you both. And now for the inaugural Southeast Asia uh, Postgraduate Prize sponsored by the Nicholas Starling um, Charitable Trust. The, win uh, the winning uh, paper goes to Structures of Opportunity for Women in Thai Politics, a preliminary study based on the 2019 Thai general election 
by Pinsuda Wanganan, University of Canterbury. On behalf of the NZ Asia Co Executive Committee, I would like to congratulate all the winners and also to everyone who submitted papers for the prizes. In conclusion, to utter a few words of farewell for us. And before the Sita will find, on behalf of a, I mean, Messi University, I really want to thank you to Penny and Robin for the leadership for this conference. I know it is, uh, I mean, very challenging environment, and this is the for the first time uh, we are doing online, hundred percent online conference, and. Uh, I know everybody was very nervous and you did such a good job. And thank you very much for your leadership. Thank you very much. All the hard work, in fact, you have done uh, for many, many months actually, started quite early and then changing all these things. And so uh, I really want to say thank you to Penny and thank you to Robin. Uh, for doing all this thing and of course I mean about all our participants and the keynote speaker that make this conference really really I mean successful so now probably so Sita is there so okay so this is a closing karakia kia tau to rangi marie ki runga ina iwi o te ao let your peace reign on all the people of the world <laughs>